Uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on uh, with me and the federal agent that contacted me. I've had no more contact from him. Uh, I have heard of other packages being seized all around the country from people that I know that are sending medicine to other, other patients. Uh, so that is continuing, and I did have one package of oil that I sent off um, that I made the mistake of handing to uh, the postal agent in our local post office here in Ashland, Oregon, and that got seized. So from what I can gather from that, they basically have a picture of me in the post office, um, and anything that I do, they're going to look at. So I'm definitely under scrutiny. Um, I've moved out of where I used to live so that I'm kind of uh, uh, less hard to find right now. So uh, that's happening and um, it's a good harvest season. There's lots of lots of material to make uh, oil out of and uh, I'm spreading it around and spreading the love and people are liking it. So that's continuing on and I just wanted to give it a d an update to everybody to let you know that I am still on the outs I am still safe and uh, everything's going along um, uh, like I said they uh, they still haven't made a move against me and I believe the reason that that is is because um, I've done a couple of radio shows um, in regards to my work with oil and uh, on before I did the first radio show I uh, I did some, some research because I knew that uh, the government has known since 1974 that THC kills cancer, and they hit it, and I wanted to get the details of that before I went on the radio program. So I did some investigation, and I found out that in 1974, the DEA contracted a research facility in Massachusetts to prove that THC damages the immune system. So the, this uh, research institute, they took um, THC and they applied it to four different kinds of cancer tumors. Their logic, I assume, being that if cancer can overpower the immune system, then if THC feeds the tumors, then it's an easy way for them to prove that THC damages the immune system. However, um, something unexpected happened, and that was that the THC killed all four different types of cancer tumors, and when they reported that to the DEA, they withdrew funds for the um, research, and they hid the findings. So ever since 1974, any doctor that has prescribed um, uh, chemotherapy or radiation to their patients is practicing a Hippocratic Oath, not a Hippocratic Oath. The Hippocratic Oath stating that, above all, uh, a doctor will do no harm to their patients. And that's exactly what's happening. And when you consider what's going on with children and giving children chemotherapy and radiation, that's a crime. So I just wanted to document that as well and put that out there that um, the reason why... I believe that I am not being prosecuted and nobody here in the United States is really being prosecuted for oil. You know, oil is illegal in Canada and oil is illegal. Extracts are also illegal in Amsterdam. Um, so why isn't it illegal here if they have such a um, wish to keep it from the people, why don't they make it illegal here? The reason I believe why they're not making it illegal is the they don't want to have us know that they hit it they've known since 1974 that's a long time to be poisoning people when you know that the poison that you're giving people not only reduces their quality of life while they're alive it also shortens the duration of their life and it's been proven over and over again so um just wanted to get that out there as well and send this out let you guys all know that i'm okay and um also, uh, something else um, that I wanted to document is that uh, my work with, um, I've been using isopropanol alcohol, 99%, as my solvent recently. Uh, a friend of mine turned me on to it, actually a student that I taught uh, a little bit over a year ago, and he started using it and had such great results that I started using it as well. And I consider it far superior not only to naphtha, but also to, I have, for a long time, I've been using um, Everclear because it's 
you know, Everclear is uh, approved for human consumption, and <clears throat> I just figured it was a, a better all-around um, uh, solvent to use for making the oil because, you know, you're giving the oil to people, so you don't want to have, if there's any of that left in there, you don't want to have poison mixed with your medicine. And I did that for a long time. For years I did that, and I spent a lot of money. I mean, uh, Everclear costs in this part of the country about $70 a gallon. So um, here I can get 99% uh, isopropanol alcohol for $70 for five gallons. So it's five times more expensive to do it that way. And um, because reclaiming the solvent is just so time consuming and my time is premium, I don't really reclaim my, my solvents. I've tried it and it's just too time consuming. So I just boil them off and all things considered, I consider isopropanol not only uh, good as far as um, the cost, but also the oil that comes out of it, my patients have said, um, has better medicinal properties and I find it uh, to be much more fluid as far as you, I'm not having to heat up any syringes. Um, I know a lot of you have had problems with uh, some oils, some um, uh, oil that you make out of certain kinds of, of pot will create oil in your syringe that um, it gels up to the point where you have to heat it up to get it out of there and that is a real pain in the butt and that is not happening at all with isopropanol and that's a huge thing so just want to put that out there too and uh, good luck to everybody uh, on keeping up with the vibrations I know things are really going along fast nowadays so keep up the good work and uh, let's stay in light and uh, soon things will change majorly for the better and I'm really looking forward to that so let's keep the faith love you all ciao